Hey everybody, Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm, diving into some e-commerce performance dashboards, some KPI dashboards uh, within Google Data Studio. There's a whole lot of KPIs out there for e-commerce. Um, I mean, in every sort of category from effectiveness, financials, website, et cetera, et cetera, marketing. Um, Google Analytics is the data source that I'm gonna use for this. It's a very common data source, obviously, but um, as we're gonna do some side by side, it's not the best user interface. Um, Shopify, similar, anything like that. So diving into some dashboards, how to actually use that data and present that data in a way to actually make decisions from it, right? So let's dive in. All right, so here is the example e-commerce dashboard in Data Studio. Um, like I mentioned, there's a whole lot of metrics that you can have for any sort of e-commerce dashboard. Highlighting a few here. Um, so really quickly grouped it into effectiveness, think like ROAS and uh, return on ad spend, of course, uh, conversion rate, things like that. Financials and websites some pretty standard metrics here. Honestly, nothing too crazy. Even the visuals here are fairly standard and they're not gonna knock your socks off. I mean, the speedometer is kind of fun, but nothing really crazy here. The big thing though is, again, I mentioned that Google Analytics was the data source for this. Let me do a side-by-side -side real quick. So this is what I call the dreaded home screen of Google Analytics. So many good metrics in here, such good breakdowns. There's so many good pieces of data. It's just really hard to see in Google Analytics. It is, it's, everything's in here, right? It's all buried somewhere in there, but you have to click through all the different things on the side here. Um, it's never gonna have exactly what you want at a quick view. You might need some custom reports and stuff like that. So Google Analytics is fantastic for what it does. Data Studio is always what I recommend for actually using the data, right? Not just visualizing, because that's a huge part of using your data. But if you want to use your uh, any of these KPIs on here or any of the other ones that you track, if you want to use them and guide them towards a business goal or a strategy or anything, highly recommend using Data Studio to link up to Google Analytics or Shopify or whatever else you use for e-commerce. But this just makes things a lot clearer. This, for my fake example data, um, these would be the exact KPIs that we have looked at and talked about and are measuring against, and then some important views that go along with it, right? So, so much more that we could do here in terms of both KPIs, but also, I mean, ROAS could be an entire dashboard on its own. We have it broken down, actually, we just have it in the speedometer, but we could break it down um, in something like this. We could do channel, because obviously it would just be paid, not paid versus organic, but we could break it down by channel. We could have a whole ROAS dashboard, let alone effectiveness. Same with financials, same with website uh, info here. So these dashboards are awesome. They are super helpful. If you're doing anything e-commerce, it's really important to be data-driven, obviously. Data Studio is a great tool to use to actually build a dashboard, to use the data, to make better decisions, to grow profitably, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All good stuff. Can't recommend it enough. So that's that. That is the e-commerce little deep dive. Like I said, uh, there's a whole lot more you could do with this in terms of KPIs, in terms of data sources too, but super powerful, very impactful, much better than Google Analytics, right? A um, whole lot more on my website on, on things like this, pineapplecf.com, as in pineappleconsultingfirm.com. And I'll link that below, of course, um, some blogs uh, on this topic as well as, uh, as well as other dashboards. So please feel free to reach out. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I always love talking shops. So seriously, reach out to me on my website um, or anywhere you can find me. Thanks so much, everybody.